Good evening, it's Monday night and Joff is back at his motorhome. I uh, just want to do uh, add a couple of more little things to my uh, motorhome solutions uh, playlist. So we're just doing this video for the playlist on motorhome solutions and I think that uh, will probably help you guys out with like maintenance tips and stuff like that. Um, so hey, number one, tonight we've just got, I've just literally got home and one of my neighbours uh, just knocked on my door and said uh, he's got some tyre weld in his hand and uh, he said, I'm not sure how to put this in. Uh, can you assist me? And I'm like, oh, one of my pet hates, mate. Absolutely don't like it. So anyway, we I went over, had a quick look. I'm gonna tag in what happened. We put the tire weld, I'm tagging the, in the video. What I, I quickly videoed what was happening. So you guys again can see what happens with this tire weld stuff. So uh, yeah, so we'll tag it in. Here we are filling the tire up. Um, and then it goes into, hello, it's not inflating the tire. Uh, there must be some uh, leak here. And um, we got in behind the tire and uh, there it was there. in, in yeah. behind, leaking out all the uh, the gunge stuff, waste of time. Um, went to his boot, didn't even have a wheel brace. It never had a scissor jack. And we're kind of like, what is going on in this day and age, you know? And that's why, you, you know, if you're on a motor and you can't change your wheel, just make sure your breakdown cover covers you for uh, you know just make sure um i just don't want to be sat on the side of the motorway like that I'm, i'd be like no way um yeah anyway that's that yeah so back to motorhome life and uh tonight i'm just talking so we were driving the motorhome the other day and we had this kind of like creaky screechy what was the other one I was saying earlier on? Um, oh, the, a creak? Is that where you go fishing? Uh, so no, we had a creaky groaning noise coming from over by our TV on this wall while we're driving. And I was trying to sort of, uh, I got Carol, like she's sort of like, I, I was slowing down and we were sort of like trying. She says, is it the TV? So I'm just going to show you guys what I actually do with my TV. Yeah, because you, you get that kind of jiggly a little bit. This one's always been a bit, uh, so what I've actually done, so for one, in behind the bracket, there's a little, I put this in the other day, there's a little serviette in there. So just to uh, give it a little bit of tension, because we thought it was that, but it kind of wasn't. But anyway, the next thing, if I just pull this out, and in behind here is actually a sponge. So uh, we tend to, so without the sponge, you sort of push it back and it's very wobbly. So uh, basically what we tend to do is just put the sponge in behind and then just, uh, and then we, it's, there's, normally it's like that, but, uh, and it probably will like, ride like that again. I'll, I'll probably leave that out. But so that sort of didn't, that wasn't the creek. So uh, further investigations. Um, here we go. So anyway, I'm gonna, uh, let's just see what, um, it's a little bit dark here. Let's just put that light there. Oh my God, hang on, let's get, that's more like it. Okay, so the next thing, I came into my um, toilet area and I don't know if you can, right, I'm going to try and get, so up on this wall, there's some little screws here. There's these little uh, screw heads. There's four there. And if I move up to the top, and there's four up there, okay? So what's actually happened is I got my screwdriver and um, just put it on these screws. And I've already done this because I just, uh, it was just, just, doing me nuts so i literally just give them a little tweak up so uh just give them all a little tweak up and it seems to have sorted out and basically the thing is um you know this here is like having your kitchen uh moving along the road so when you go over them bumps and everything is like moving around so uh basically just give me a little bit of a Hey, I need to sort this out and uh, go around checking all my little screws. So um, there's there's other. So I was just having a look around, and obviously up here, like you've got more. So these are covered, and uh, yeah. So just grabbing my little tiny small screwdriver and uh, just putting her in underneath there. I should be able to just peel them off like that. There we go. So there's the screw up there. So this, uh, I haven't actually done this one yet. So let's just see how this goes. And there, just that little tiny bit more tension. It's probably three quarters of a turn. Again, just peel them off and we'll go again. 
Let's see if I can get that. There he goes. Is it? Yes. Look at that. Again, another one tweaked up. Yeah, so there's the little uh, cover that goes on it. There's the little screws I'm using just to pop them off. I'm doing myself so much, I'm going to get right into this back corner and just do this one as well. Let's see what happens. Yep, just that little tiny bit of tension on her. Let's get a little bit more tension on her. And uh, I'm happy with that. Snap the cover back on. There she is. Easy. Just on that, another one just down in this bottom corner. And they're all just going up that. You can just see, look, I'm just putting a little bit more tension on her. Back on with the cover. How easy is that? Got one more up in the top corner there by my little light that comes automatically. Slip that one out of there. There's the cover out and in we go with a screwdriver again. And yes, there we go. Just a little tiny bit more tension on them. And that's basically all it takes just to uh, put it all back up to get it all back up to speed. It's absolutely humping it down with rain here in Devon today. Horrible night. We need sunshine. We need this. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to the rattles and bangs and uh, scrapes and creaks in your moho. Um, look, so we've got in between our dishes these lovely little kind of like felty kind of like material they're just like a dishcloth kind of thing and they just sit in between. Uh, these are the magnetic ones so they stick together as well. Look. So uh, in our yeah so there they are look there's our uh, regular ones and we've got this little rack thing as well that we uh, have like rubber in between all the plates so basically they just sit in there and there's no uh, they tension the plates and uh, it's all nice and uh, tidy we try and go rattle free because it's so frustrating <laughs> But it's all solutions. It's all solutions. We had another problem. We had another problem. Magnetic poles. <laughs> Incredible. Super light. Absolutely love it. Um, but when you're having your Cocoa Pops or your breakfast cereal or your Rice Krispies or your cornflakes or your Weetabix, when you dip in to the bowl, so yeah, when you dip into the bowl to get your scoop, that's what happens <laughs> and you cannot you cannot get the spoon out without throwing milk all over your face oh oh it was only a simulation so yeah it was a bit of a problem for these which i love using these i love the versatility chuck them out on the little nano pads so they're uh, you can't st spill here but you just throw milk all over your face and cocoa pops ah. but uh, anyway so yeah that so that's that was another little problem i had in my life and uh, so solution remedied we have a little so we ended up uh, I, I just popped into uh, uh, one of these camp shops um, millets and uh, picked up some little plasticky kind of like yeah they'll do you can um, so now I'm back so if I want to use my magnetoys, I've just got to use these. That's not too hard, is it? <laughs> That's not too hard. I've just got to check them out. See if I can get. They're a bit flat, but mm, I should be able to. Yeah, I think I can manage. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they just clip together, so they're quite neat. Um, and we sort of said that at the end of the day, um, you know, they will come in a uh, little handy, sort of like picnicy. Put them in your bag if you want to uh, um, take a little uh, pasta salad or something like that on the uh, on your little jolly somewhere. Um, you've got some uh, cutlery that you can just basically keep in there. And yeah, so I just keep, I, I keep a little tool kit under my front driver's seat, um, stowed in a little uh, like wallet kind of thing. Um, some sort of extension, you know, it's just just a few little small tools. Um, this was an incredible little set that I picked up on a uh, an old trip we did in Germany. I went in, uh, I think I was after something to undo the blinds, so you needed the little torque set. And uh, this has been uh, super, super efficient for me to um, use. Uh, yeah, all the little screwdriver ends and stuff, which is really handy and um, so handy. And, and with the little ratchet, you can just get a little bit more tension on them little screws and stuff, do you know? Well, basically guys, that's nearly it for me tonight. It's half past six. So basically, 
there was one last thing I had in my little agenda tonight. I t tend to like put a little uh, rough agenda, scratch it up a little bit, chuck some uh, maybe useful to you tips in. Um, hope so. Uh, and uh, appreciate anybody watching this. If you've uh, gained any little uh, tip out of it, give us a nod, give us a like, give us a subscribe. You know the score. Uh, we're aimed out to please. Um, last but not least on the agenda. <laughs> my document wallet okay never leave home without it your document wallet i keep it in my house because most of the time i don't need it but when i'm going on a continental trip oh my god i need it so much and i've needed it that much i drive i've driven one christmas we driven on christmas day we left about five o'clock i think from here on christmas day we drove to a pub stop near andover in wiltshire and we parked up and uh we were um the pub was closed it was just uh in um the old uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah basically I can't, I can't remember what we were doing anyway but um so i was up there and was it, I don't think we were, no, we wasn't even in the COVID thing. We wasn't even in the COVID thing. It was um, pre-COVID. Pre, pre it was the Christmas pre-COVID. So it had been uh, 19, 2019. So I'm in a pub car park in um, near Andover in Wiltshire. And uh, we just, we were like excited, so excited. That's home. <laughs> All right. And we sat down and we're just about to have a drink. And uh, so we're just sort of like, right, just blowing the froth off one. And, uh, and basically, Caroline said to me, um, you picked up the um, passports, didn't you? Yeah, what? And you get that kind of funny, strange feeling that just comes over you when you know. Yeah, oh, my God. The drink went in the in the sink. Let's have a coffee. Let's have a coffee. I've got to rethink what I'm doing here. Um, and uh, basically, what happened then? I said, right, what I'm going to do? It's Christmas Day. I'm going to get my head down early. I'm going to get up at two o'clock in the morning on Boxing Day, and I'm going to drive back home and pick it up. And basically, so that's what we did. Two hours home. Uh, Caroline never even got out of the motorhome. I went in, picked up my document wallet. Probably the only thing that I haven't got in my motorhome that I need so badly. Um, you know, if there's, if you leave a spoon, you can buy a spoon. You can, you know what I mean? You can, you can buy a, a, a torch. You can buy a coat. You know, you can, you can't buy your passport. So uh, learning, big learning lesson for me. And uh, basically I was literally nearly crying as well. That's before the fuel price was uh, like it is now. And basically um, I'd driven two hours up, two hours back, four hours driving, diesel gauge starting to dr drift away, two hours back to where, and I was, I literally was going through the pain barrier a little bit. I was back on a little bit more of a schedule then to, I, I was in a relaxed mode. I could uh, have my breakfast up at the pub stop, um, bimble down to the, um, the Euro tunnel. And uh, it put me back under pressure um, to, to make that. Uh, so it was just like real big trauma. So, but anyway, we, we, we managed it. I managed to get my head down for an hour at Stonehenge. And then um, I was sort of back on schedule because I was probably back up there at eight o'clock in the morning. And uh, anyway, then we managed to uh, get, the, get the trip done but, um, and do the trip. But uh, passports, okay. Uh, but in there as well, yeah, in uh, certificate of insurance, um, your logbook, all your little documentations in one handy, handy little uh, pouch. And... Uh, Happy days. I've just downloaded today. I've just updated my uh, COVID passes on my wallet, on my Apple phone. So it's dink, dink, dink. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll let you know how that goes. So that's it for me tonight. I'm babbling. I've got to go and my, eat my tea. Um, so I hope you found this video informative. You know the score. Thank you very much. See you later.